Hi friends, it's Veronica Vax, naturopathic physician, happily retired. Today we are going to talk again about how problems in the small intestine can create acid reflux. This was a question from a subscriber. Here he is. He asked me, why problems in the small intestine cause GERD? People ask this question in different permutations again and again, and I refer them to other to the video that I already made. Like, for example, this question, why problem with my liver or pancreas can create GERD? So I refer them to this video on my website, on my um, uh, channel, and they watch them and they still kind of quite cannot get I, an idea. So I decided to redo this video a little bit differently. So let's go and I will explain that from a different angle. Before you watch this video, I would strongly recommend to go back and see my video on eight common causes of acid reflux. So this problem in the small intestine that can cause acid reflux, problem number seven. Now, let's start with rules of physiology. When we eat the food, food drops here into the stomach and pH in the stomach in order to digest food have to be two. At the same time, parasympathetic system get activated and the pH here in the small intestine is totally different. It is seven. Pillarus that located right here between stomach and the small intestine opens and closes on concentration gradient, meaning it has to be two in the stomach and it has to be seven in the small intestine. If you don't create right environment in small intestine, concentration gradient is not created, pillars will remain closed. And the, after hour and a half, that's physiologically, that just about that time, both valves, pillars here, and loisophageal sphincter will become tired. They get open a little bit. And when that's happened, the food will go from the stomach into esophagus and will create a problem, acid reflux. Now, let's go to the blackboard and I will explain you in greater details how that happens. As always, I already pre-draw for us picture of the digestive tract mouse with the teeth. Food goes in, drops here into the stomach and stomach starts to produce hydrochloric acid HCl, which will immediately dissociate to hydrogen ion and chloride anion. Hydrogen ion is positive. And this hydrogen ion, that's exactly what will determine the pH here in the stomach. And it's going to be very acidic. It is too. That's what you need to digest protein here. At the same time, in the small intestine, we will start to create a different environment. To digest food fully, we have to create different environment with pH of seven, which is neutral here in the small intestine. Several organs will do that for us. Number one is liver. So let's write here, liver. Liver will produce bile that will come here into the small intestine. Pancreas that located also here, P stays for pan pancreas, will produce pancreatic enzymes that will come here and help to digest food. Brush border enzymes that live here in the small intestine will help to digest food. Also different types of bacteria that lives here, digest food and, food and create environment that is healthy for the small intestine. Now, food is here, you are creating concentration gradient, meaning pH 2 here in the stomach and pH 7 in the small intestine. That will open the pillarus. Food, the, uh, a portion of the food from the stomach will go through the open pillarus here into the small intestine because the food has an acid in that. Environment here in the small intestine immediately changed from being pH 7 in the direction of acidity because food is very acidic. There is no concentration gradient 
two and seven here. As a result, pillars get shut immediately and we start to create environment with pH seven here in the small intestine. Liver will produce digestive, digestive juices that will digest food. And they are those digestive juices. They are neutral. They have pH seven. So you want the pH seven. Pancreas also will produce juices. Brush border enzymes will start to digest food. They will contribute to that uh, environment. Bacteria is start to work. You create again pH seven here in the small intestine. Concentration gradient is created. Pillars get open. The next portion of partially digestive food moves out of the stomach, arrives here into the small intestine. pH get changed. Pillars get closed. That's how it's happened. Now let's mark this organ. So liver is number one, pancreas is number two, brush border enzymes, let's mark them as a three and bacteria that lives here in the small intestine is four. If any one, two, three or four is not there, let's say person is took antibiotic, right? The environment is not created here. The, uh, in small intestine, or there is a functional deficiency of the liver, or there is a pancreatic enzymes deficiency. So you do not create this environment of pH seven. As a result, pillarus remains close. Food will stay here in the small, uh, in, excuse me, in the stomach longer than it's physiologically supposed to be, one hour, 30 minutes. As a result, both pillarus and low esophageal sphincter over the time, over the after hour and a half becomes tired. Once when they are tired, they say, I cannot stay closed, tight closed. So they get open, acid moves here, could move here and create acid reflex. Also pillars get tight and food will start to move here in the small intestine, not well digested. So the fact that food moves and acid reflex moved in both directions, which is should not be happening, okay? And especially moving up here creates an acid reflex. And that's what I um, try to explain to you. So let's see. Uh, um, I hope guys, that the concept becomes clear and clear to you. So you have to deal with organs that located or that contribute to the health of small intestines, such as um, liver, pancreas, brush border enzymes, and bacteria or treat dysbiosis that get created by antibiotic. So if you have any questions, please ask me in the uh, uh, below in the question area. I have a, in the description, I will have a description of the concept. And if you want to have me as a health coach, contact me there through my website. For now, thank you very much and bye-bye. Get healthier.